What is up everybody? I am Mumphy, back again with another install video and today what we're going to be doing with the Tacoma is putting in the TRD Pro Grill. Stay tuned and I'll show you the install. Whoa. What we got is a couple of tools that you're gonna need. One, you're gonna need your TRD Pro Grill. So I got mine from MC Autosports. Um, I actually went with uh, the all black lettering uh, along with uh, you know the all black grill. They do offer different lettering color combinations. Uh, so you can get red, uh, voodoo blue, cement silver uh, they've got an array of options and the cool thing is is that you can swap out whenever you want so you can get black and then later on you can go back onto their website and you can order uh you know a different color in the lettering if you want to swap them out the other thing that you're going to need is a 10 millimeter socket and a pry tool I also recommend getting a set of pry tools. I got mine off of Amazon for about 40 bucks. It's like a 48, 49 piece kit. Um, good for future projects down the line. So let's get into the install. All right, first what we got is a couple of 10 millimeter bolts holding these in. So we'll get those out first. Next, what we have are a bunch of tab, push tabs that will peel off. They are on either side of the two bolts that you had. So take your pry tool and we'll get those pried up. And then we'll work our way down to underneath here. Uh, you've got more pull tabs or pop tabs along the bottom. So we'll get those all popped up with our pry tool. And those are on either side here. And they just pull out. Next, we got to go down further because there are so we got another four across the bottom that we'll need to pry up as well so as you're down under here you got four that go across the bottom just pop them up and remove them So for the 2018s and up, mine being a 2020, uh, the TSS sensor is behind the logo. So we'll have to disconnect that from the front bumper before moving forward. So that's right here. Uh, so what you wanna do is you can pinch, you can pinch this together just to get it disconnected and then you have this other pinch connection that's right here and this is on the driver's side you pinch that or get a pair of pliers you 
after you get that disconnected. The other thing you'll want to do is we definitely want to make sure that this is disconnected from the front because this is still uh, attached to the grill that we're going to be removing. So we'll push this tab down. So we'll just take that, pinch that down, and just disengage that. And then we'll tuck the sensor back. All right, now that we've got everything disconnected from the front, the uh, sensor and all the tabs that we needed to pull off, we should be able to pull the front grill off. The front, just like that. All right, next you're, next you're gonna need a screwdriver. I've got a drill bit with an extended piece just cause uh, a shallow bit uh, doesn't get into some of the uh, tighter areas. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna remove all the Phillips heads around the outside. Once you have all the screws out, we're going to go ahead and remove the sensor, which is right in the middle here. So we'll remove the sensor and we're going to be removing this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw. So you can use a 10 millimeter on these outside retaining screws. So I'll go ahead and just do that. And now the sensor should be able to come out. Now we do have a retaining connection point here. Which we might need a pry tool for. Yep. I recommend a pry tool to get that one out. And then we've got a secondary one here, so I'll just use my pry tool again. And now, the whole sensor is free. And we'll just set that aside. The other thing that we're gonna need is we're gonna wanna take these two metal clips, these metal two retention washers, out and we'll hang on to these because we're going to put them into the new grill. Next we have all these tabs that we're going to need to unclip so that we can remove the outer shell. notice that there are a secondary set that we do not need to remove on the 2020s. It's only the inside tabs and there's six across the top and only two on the, or six across the bottom 
the, okay, so there's only six tabs across the bottom that you'll need to focus on and only two at the top for the removal of the grill. And there we have it. Set that aside. Now we'll work. On the off on the uh, TRD Pro grill. Now this came very well packaged. This definitely has quite a few more tabs on it than what I needed to remove off of the 2020. Um, as you can see, each of the letters are actually screwed in. They come indivi in individually packaged. So you will uh, need to do some assembly. The other thing that I really like about this grill is the detail. So as you can see, this has the ridges in along the edges, along the outside, like the, T uh, the official TRD Pro grill. And that was something that I was looking for. I didn't, I didn't want one that didn't have this ridge detail in it. But since we're going to be removing the fake garnish and putting on uh, the TSS garnish, uh, we are going to be re removing that. So on the back, you can see it's held in by a couple of tabs. And then the top screws are just... melted in so we'll need to we'll need to break those just like that it just pushes out so just just so you're aware if uh if you have if you have a tacoma under 2018 then you can just keep the the garnish on there if not You'll need to remove it, and the nice thing is that it's just it's just melted on there, um, so it's easily easily removed. All right, now we'll work on putting the sensor back in. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to take our silver retaining and place those. Those will just insert onto either side there. Now we'll take our sensor and we'll want to make sure that this side with all the writing on it is facing out. So we have our grill facing down, so we'll place this face down. get that right into place. And what you'll notice is that there are a couple of pins that help align the sensor when you're replacing it. And then you put the screw here and on both sides and that's all you'll need to do to secure it. told that this top screw is actually an adjustment screw so if it's too if it's pitched too far forward or too far back uh, you'll loosen or tighten that depending on on what you need so you will end up with one extra screw after installing the sensor uh, just hang on to that one now we're ready to place 
the grill into the rest of the front. So we'll go ahead and line this up. Make sure that all of our tabs are lining up where they need to be. And the awesome thing is, is that even though the 2020 grill didn't have all the clips, the housing on here still has enough for all the tabs that come with the replacement grill. install the garnish and this is the garnish that was provided it is aftermarket because nowadays the uh, the, uh, the official the OEM is they've jacked up the price so not too bad I'll just kind of peel back the sides make sure that this kind of it's in there. I'll leave the uh, protective cover on there for now. Flip this back over. Looks like the garnish is going to hold with just the uh, tabs on the bottom. Just make sure. Sensor back up on there. All right. Looks like I'm just going to mount the old sensor back into its mounting place on the main. And now we'll put the screws. All right, so now we'll just put the screws back in. Uh, not all of them. We're going to go back in from what I'm noticing because the new grill does not have the holes for all the new locations. So it looks like I've only got two screws. That I needed to put back in and now ready to install it back on the truck. All right, now that we've got the new grill installed, now we're gonna put it back on the front of the truck. There are tabs that line up with uh, holes on the front of the Tacoma, so we'll just make sure that we're lining all those up. Looking great. Love the black on black. I'll remove the film later after we get everything put back. Just remember, you got uh, four four push pins on across the bottom, two on either side, and then you have your screws that hold it all together, and then. Don't forget to reinstall the TSS. All right, so we'll replace the four on the bottom. Just make sure that those snap in. Two 
on the sides here. Put our two 10 mils back. Next, we'll want to make sure that we reconnect our TSS. So, put our clip back in. And then we'll just snap the TSS sensor back together. And everything should be clean. And there you go. And there you have it. There's the install of the TRD Pro Grill from MC Auto Parts. Uh, I am not affiliated with any of these companies that uh, I have featured on my channel right now. If they'd like to reach out to me so that I can uh, test it on the truck, I'm all for it. Um, but I find what works best for me within my budget range. Uh, I hope you guys are doing your research as well, finding what works out best for you to get the look on your Tacoma that you want. So there it is. I'll make I'll be sure to uh, give you guys some updates whether or not the you know I need to do some adjustments on the TSS sensor. Um, and stay tuned for more install videos. So thanks for hanging out. Take it easy out there, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.